After seeing this movie two times in theaters, I would like to apologize to the following movies last year. I'd like to apologize to American Made. I'd like to apologize to Good Time. I'd like to apologize to Coco. I'd like to apologize to Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. I'd like to apologize to Atomic Lawn. I'd like to apologize to Kingsman and the Golden Circle. I'd like to apologize to uh, Get Out. I'd like to apologize to Power Rangers. And I'd like to apologize to Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, for the movies that I saw last year, that I didn't see in theaters, but I saw on DVD that came out last year, I'd like to apologize to The Founder, Blade Runner 2, I mean, Train Spotting 2. Ooh. I don't want to apologize for Blade Runner. I apologize for watching it. Um, I'd like to apologize to Cars 3. I'd like to apologize to Cars 3. I'd like to apologize to Leap. I'd like to apologize to The Book of Henry. And I'd like to apologize to A Cure for Wellness. All movies I saw last year came out last year, but I did not watch in theaters. But I did see this movie two times in theaters. So Thank you for that list. It. That was something. Yeah, I was not a fan of the first one. I'm pretty sure I'm alone in that fact because everyone was clamoring for part two. And we got a part two. <laughs> Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 is the continuing story of Wade Wilson, the merc with the mouth. This time around, where the first one was a love story, this time we have a story about getting a family together one way or the other. This is a non-spoiler review. There will be a spoiler review coming up with Jeff, and we've already shot that one, so I'm here for this one. And, uh, listen... If you like this movie, great for you. I'm not a fan of the fourth wall breaking, especially as much as it happens here. I'm not a fan of Ryan Reynolds, nor I'm a fan of his shtick. His character is both annoying, grating, and makes me want to punch someone in the face and is more eye-rolling than you can believe. I hope to never watch another one of these movies again. So that's where I stand with this garbage. Um, yeah, this is, this is, listen, Deadpool is all about comedy. If you're, if you like the comedy, you're going to like the movies. If you're like me and you don't like the comedy, you're not going to like the movies. Plain and simple. And I'm not saying anything wrong against it, it just is not for me. I will say this time around, the action was a little bit better. Um, I'd like to call out two people who did do a really good job in this movie. One would be um, Josh Brolin, who played Cable. I thought he was really good. I thought he played his part perfectly. And actually, in times, he's the guy who I felt the most... Uh, much like in the first movie when the villain was like, Oh my God, someone shut Deadpool up. Cable definitely was that character in this movie for me. There was one time he just yelled, they were in a, there was a car scene, <clears throat> and he just yells at Deadpool, listen you annoying prick dressed up in a, like a sex doll, and I was like, that's, that's exactly how I feel. There's another time where Deadpool is talking, and Cable just, <sighs> and I was like, once again, he's the audience, he's my audience, he's how I feel during these movies. Um, so yeah, he. But I thought he was really good, and it, it kind of sucked that he didn't. He wasn't in the movie for the first thirty minutes or so. Um, his character was a little bit underplayed, but he had to serve as a partial villain for the second act, and then the third act he transitioned to uh, a different role in the movie. It's hard to, to describe who the main villain is because it does change from beat to beat. Especially when we go to act from Act 1 to Act 2 to Act 3. It seems like we have three different villains. So, once again, non-spoiler, so I'm not going to say much about that. 
I also was, I also gave, um, I believe her name is Zazzy Beats, the girl who played Domino. She was really good in this movie. I wanted to see more of her. And I definitely do like the way David Leach, the director, uh, co-director of John Wick 1 and also the director of Atomic Blonde, the way he cinematically unveiled her power of luck. She actually had some of the best uh, fight sequences and just action beats in general in the movie. Like when they first say, oh, luck is not a power, and she's going around and you see, you know, her powers coming to fruition. I won't say once again, I won't say what's going on in those scenes, but it's really good. Including a fight scene with a bunch of guards in the third act. Really good. Um, there is a surprise villain in the movie, and... I go back and forth to whether I liked it or not. I thought it was fine. The problem is when at the, in the third act there are two there's two uh, people fighting each other who are both CGI monsters, and I couldn't tell if the CGI was bad per se, or it's because they were they were the only things that were working against each other. So it just looked like two C, you know it wasn't as bad as Transformers, but it just looked like a cutscene from a from a uh, Xbox One game, so that really turned me off. There are two extended sequences that Jesus Christ made me want to shoot myself. There's a scene, a very long scene, where Deadpool is growing his lower extremities back. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. That was oh my god, it was so long and so annoying. There was also a scene. At the very in the third act, where Deadpool is giving a speech, I won't say why or for what the speech was about. Once again, oh my God, shut up, Ryan Reynolds! I can't stand your shtick, and you're not funny. I don't care what you, I don't care what anyone says. This stuff isn't funny. It's more annoying than anything else, at least to me. Um, that's all I gotta say about this movie. There is a wasted villain in the, in the mid, in the second of the. In the What's, what's also annoying about this movie is, one, they wasted a villain in the middle of the movie, and they also wasted a bunch of people. I know, without spoiling, I know some people enjoyed it and people laughed at the cameos. I didn't. I was like, oh, you just wasted my time for no reason. Um, yeah, I was having none of this movie. I give it a four. I know a lot of people like this movie. Once again, I am not one of them. This is not, this is not the movie for me. Like we were just watching Caddyshack, Rodney Dangerfield was easily the best part of that movie. Ryan Reynolds, not. I am, I am not charmed. I don't find them funny. And please, to God, heavens, just don't make any more of these movies. I get Deadpool a four. Let the hate train come on. That's all I have to say. Oh wait. Oh wait, we have another list. Let's go over there to see what the list is. Movies I laughed at more than this movie. I saw a movie that starred a character suffering through postpartum uh, depression who was suffering from schizophrenia and damn near almost killed herself. I laughed at that movie more than this movie. Another movie I laughed at more than that, a movie about a clown demon who is terrorizing an entire town. I laughed more at that movie than this movie. Another movie, I laughed at the a superhero, another superhero movie involving a, a wall crawler who was being attacked by an evil vulture. That movie made me laugh more than this movie. And last but not least, I laughed more at a movie about a girl suffering from deep depression and complete anxiety for the people around her and had no idea how to contact other human beings that ended up with her shooting herself on live television. That made me laugh more than this movie. Bye.